Taurus in love. What do we have in store for our beautiful Taurus friends? Let's see what the overall energy is for love at this time. We have no place like home. <laughs> you want to curl up in your pajamas and eat popcorn with your beloved. <laughs> so some of you are feeling very dug in, but you know, you may be living with someone too. So let's see what the overall energy is. So that is on the tarot deck. Let's see what the messages from Spirit are telling us about love at this time for Taurus. Okay, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? Three of Cups. Okay, so friendship is very important to you at this time in relationships. We saw this in the main read, the, the Five of Cups. Spirit is saying somebody owes you an apology. Oh, well, okay. Looks like an apology is coming in, but or a new offer in love that's very significant, a reunion maybe with somebody in the past. A lot of similar energy here to main reading, uh, to your general reading. So let's see what we have. What is going on with Taurus and love? We're going to look at your energy, their energy, and see what's going on. Okay, so cutting the deck. Let's see here what we have. Your energy in this relationship is coming in as you would really like to walk away. Okay, their energy is coming in as they feel like they've had a successful relationship with you, but they're, you know, you're feeling like, oh, I just want to take a hike. They're feeling like sort of on top of the world, like, you know, they have what they want. They seem to be very satisfied in this connection, and you are not. The Eight of Cups is you really, that's Pisces energy. You'd like to walk away. So let's see what the cards are. Let's see what we have here in terms of um, how, you see, how you see the current circumstances. You feel in some ways like you're lucky, but you just want to hold back with this person. You know, I don't see you really ready to make any big changes yet, but inside there's an alchemical sort of energy that you, that's coming along for you that says that you want peacefulness, you want happiness. This doesn't really bring it. You're not feeling satisfied, but you're going to manifest it in the future. We see that right now you're holding back from this person. What do we have for their energy here? Yeah, okay. The Nine of Wands, they're picking up on the fact that they're not making you happy. But, you know, here's the problem. You know, this person keeps her options open. It looks like, yeah, oh, I feel defensive. I'm not really pleasing my beautiful Taurus. And so, you know, at the end of the day, I've chosen her, but I'm not going to give her a sense of security. This is somebody who's... Uh, treating you like very willy-nilly sort of like well i you know if you're here you're here and if you're not you're not the truth is they have chosen you they do you know they do love you but they're really they're so defensive and they're just they're really just not giving you what you deserve and a love relationship should be more than two people living together and eating popcorn together so let's see what the energy is coming up in the near future for the two of you. Your energy is a page of coins, the eight of coins. You're focused on work. Boy, oh my God. Okay. So you are focused on work. The energy coming through in your love life, this isn't with them necessarily, is that you're going to work on the relationship. You're doing your best right now. You're like giving it your all. And I'll tell you straight up, if you give this your all and you do not get your 10 of cups, you're going to go right to the 8 of cups and you're going to you're going to work on a relationship with someone who can give you true love, deep intimacy, hugging, affection, warmth, joy. Because what I get is that this person doesn't give it to you. This is kind of cold energy. This is much more like success worldly success but this is not warm and fuzzy this is like when they want the passion they want the passion emotionally they leave you sort of you know out there sort of feeling like your laundry that's hanging in the wind you know just not really even knowing how they feel about you and the defensiveness that they have here is intense now going forward it looks you know they are in their fields but again the hanged man they do not tell you they do not share their feelings with you they're not it's almost like they're stubbornly refusing the yeah, ten of wands see you guys have a lot of breakup energy here it's almost like can't live with him can't live without him is what my grandmother would have said when you get into a relationship you just can't seem to get where you need to go even though two people really love each other 
a lot of love here. I mean, you both really love each other. This is Cancerian energy. This person tends to be very motherly in their love. They may have a, a really intense relationship with children, but you do too. You have a very intense relationship with your family. But here's what I see. I see you being very constructive and this person is just they're, they're, it's almost like they just don't do the work. Look at this. Nine of Wands. Oh, I feel defensive. Seven of pu Cups. I think I'll just lose myself in the internet and not pay attention to you. Three of Wands. Right up until I want sex. I love you, but I hang out with you and I don't say a word to you. I just keep silent. The Hanged Man is leaving you in suspense. Ten of Wands. When I, when I get annoyed, I just kind of turn my back and walk away. Yeah. The outcome energy for you at this time that I see, Taurus, is the you're both being very kind of cold and aloof. You're both juggling the idea of do I stay or do I go? Let's see what else we have. I'm, I'm going to clarify some more here too. Two of Wands. Both of you are sort of in this process of still choosing a future. Two of Coins means that both of you could juggle. You both really want the relationship. You know, it's like when it's when it becomes, I would say when it almost becomes on fire, like it looks like you're on the verge of a breakup. It looks like somebody rushes in here. That is Gemini energy, though. Who is it that rushes in? <clears throat> the one of you that's most passionate. The one of you that shows your emotions more. That's very fiery energy. So chances are, if there's a fire sign here in this relationship or you have a lot of fire in your chart, it's you. If not, it could be the other person if they have fire in their chart. But it's the passion. But look at this. Remorse, regret, sadness. We saw this in the general reading, right at the heart of the reading for you, Taurus. So tell us why this couple has such a hard time from their side why do they have a hard time with you this does not mean you are to blame ah oh. <laughs> taurus you're so successful you're really good at things you're much more talented than they are you're very beautiful you're very desirable your person feels always as though you could get somebody let better and leave them in the cold all right, well, but that's a personal problem. Five of Pentacles, that's Taurus energy. That's They feel as though they really can't tap into or match the power of who you are in a relationship. They feel kind of constantly like, oh, she could have better. He could have better. Taurus, your person is very insecure. And then when they go insecure, they get cold with you. They get very sort of methodical. I would even say that's like they blame you for things. They judge you in a very critical manner. Your person loves living with you. Again, I do think for most of you, this is a live-in arrangement. Um, they see you as powerfully, you know, a, a marriage partner. They love you very deeply. We've got the King of Cups, but they don't tell you, you know. What else do we have here? We have, yeah, here we go, Taurus. You might be dealing with somebody with Taurus in their chart. They seem to bring home the bacon, but they expect you to fry it up in the pan and to sort of take care of everything else, plus do your job. I would say this person has very dramatic expectations of how much work you're supposed to do in this relationship compared to them. The Ace of Cups, they would like a new beginning, but I don't see them doing anything. They're loyal to you, even though we have the Seven of Cups. We had Seven of Cups up here. They're physically loyal to you, but I don't like the idea that they, they basically ignore you. When they think that you're going to run off, it looks like they soften up with you. The Strength card says that this person has mastery over their emotions, but I really wouldn't call it mastery if they have to be cold to you. They think they have mastery. The High Priestess, intuitively, this person knows that, you know, you may be seeking new love. Why is that here? Yeah, Page of Swords. They definitely think that you check people out on the internet. So let's look and see what the advice of spirit is here for you. This is advice from spirit. We're also going to pull love messages, okay, specific love messages. So your advice from spirit at this time in this relationship is intelligence. Well, you're super bright. That's not too surprising. Let's see what the messages of love are. What do we have for the messages of love? That fell on the floor. An apology is needed. 
This person needs to apologize to you. We saw that in the main reading. The self-care, you know, you need to really take care of you. And you are. I, the Nine of Pentacles came out in the earlier reading also. Your general reading is quite good, actually. So, I, you know, the, the link is down below. Trust. Trust yourself. That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting. You have to trust this person, but... It's really safe for you to trust your instincts in this relationship about what should be done. I think many of you, we're looking at new love coming in here, I think, for you. I really do. Somebody that you can really have an emotional relationship with. Patience. Okay, everything will unfold in divine timing. The um, main reading actually showed you have an outcome of manifesting exactly what you want. Okay. Okay. Mwah. Sending you love to us, leaving it there. Thanks for your likes, subscribe, shares, and comments. Thank you guys. Bye.